Hey guys, how we doing today? So in today's video, I am trying to sublimate onto dry erase board that I got from Home Depot. So the images that I'm going to use today are these right here that I got. And I got these from, I think it was an Etsy store. If I can recall, I'm not too sure. But um, anyway, they're pretty cool images and I like them a lot. So we're going to use two different images. So we're going to use this one. And what I'm doing, I'm just dragging them in. And that one is really huge. So I'm just going to bring that down to seven. And that's one of them. And then I have this other one. And I did not buy these images from etsy it was on a facebook group that a person had sublimation files that they were selling so i think i got a total of 20 something sublimation uh images for five bucks and all of the images they had on it i loved them that's why i got them that bad so here goes our images now let me cut this one down i mean size it down to seven and now, here goes the two images that we are using today. So, what I want to do, I want to cut them both out to be the size of an 8.5 by 11. Okay? So, I want to bring this out some more. And I want to fill this page. But I don't want to have it distraughted. So, you got to be careful. Definitely, definitely be careful. So now, I want to come over here and this one's another nice one I love. I I really hope in this pro uh, process that I'm doing that the sublimation comes out freaking awesome. So now I just want to Okay, so I guess I just want to cut out the edges. And I want to go back to the design. And I'm going to bring up my Glowforge because we're going to use the Glowforge today. I have my X Tool M1, but I cannot set it up yet because when I got the Glowforge, I broke my entire window trying to put the the filter outside. So I'm waiting to get the window replaced to different slide up windows so then I could just make a board for both of the hoses. Okay, so here goes the glow forge. Okay, so I want to upload a new design and as you can see I was testing to see if I could cut this out and I had some trouble but I figured it out so now first off I want to turn my glue forge and then we're gonna start off from there okay so I want to go back to my silhouette And since I got this image right here, I am going to send this to print. And then the best part about working with the silhouette, in the silhouette, it has the cut lines. So I'm going to send these two prints to print out on my Epson 2200 that I have. And we're going to continue with this. 
I don't know if you guys notice this, but uh, Silhouette and Cricket, this software is horrible. Peppa Milo, shut up. And now I'm going to press play. Print. Okay, now while that one is printing, I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to bring in my other picture. And let's bring this in. Okay, that is big, so we want to cut this down to 8.8. And that looks good, but I'm going to shrink it down just a tad bit. Okay. So there goes that one. So I'm going to go send this one to print. I'm going to flip this one, and then we're going to go to the Glowforge and start working out. Well, first I'm going to take it to the table so I can mask my product, and then we're going to go to the Glowforge. So I'll meet you there. Hey, guys. How we doing? So today I'm going to try to sublimate on this white dry erase board that I got from Home Depot. I've heard some people said that they sublimated on it. So, me, I want to test it out because I'm trying to find some other products besides wood and stuff like that. Um, some of the products for the Glowforge, it could be kind of pricey, but you can find some really good material out there, okay, and still do the same as all the rest. So, this whiteboard is 2 feet by 4 feet, and I got it at Home Depot for $8. $8.67. So, anyway. Here goes my images that I printed. And this one came out super dark. I think I'm going to print one more and see because I used a different setting and it looks really muddy. So let me do that real quick and I'll be right back. <clears throat> okay. Wow. What a difference the print settings do on the printer. Now, I printed this one first. And then I flipped it in the software. But on my printer, it has the flip button. So look at how dark that came out. And then this is the new one that I flipped. No, I let the machine, the printer flip it. And look at the difference in color. You see how dark this is? And look at this one, how bright it is. So, I have that one. And then, this is the old one that I forgot to flip. And it's kind of super dull. I mean, it's still pretty. But, look at the new one. Okay? So, you could definitely tell 
Okay, definitely tell. So now, let me move these two on the side because I might not be able to use them because I didn't mirror image them. Or I mirror image them in the silhouette, but then my printer flipped it right back over to the original side. So, first thing we're going to do is add masking tape to the whiteboard. So let me go get that. Okay, so here it goes. And it has a chalkboard and an erase board. And this is pretty awesome. So I heard some people said that it sublimates good. And then some people said that it sucked. So I'm going to test it out. And I'm going to make sure that everything's all clean. And I am going to use my masking tape. Now, I got this masking tape from Sign Warehouse. Whew. 12 years ago. And, you know, I used it for transferring my vinyl. But then when I got into Glowforge, this is the same exact tape that you use for masking. Okay, hold on. I need to get a straight. So it could cut it out. So let's do that. Okay, so now I have my border mask. So now I'm going to go to my Glowforge. I'm going to have my Glowforge cut this out. And we're going to sublimate it. Okay, so let's see if it cut. Hey, hey. It did. Now be careful. Because this has a lot of black soot on it. And it will turn your fingers black. Okay, so we're over here. At the heat press. And I'm going to. Use my Teflon. And we are going to press this for 60 seconds. Now. Prior to me putting on the heat press, I ended up putting the board underneath the heat press so I know what the pressure would be, okay? So do that prior to putting the heat press on or putting any design so you know exactly. Okay, so now that I got my design on the heat press, I want to set this up for 60 seconds at 400 degrees. So now I'm just going to take this and move it to my craft table. And we are going to put the other one down. So put this down facing up because you want the sublimation sheet to be on the heat press. You want to add a layer of butcher paper and your Teflon sheet. I'm going to press this one down 60 seconds, 400 degrees. And I'll meet you back at the table. Okay, so we're back at the table. Now to see how 
if this even really worked and how good it sublimated. So now you just want to peel back the tape. <laughs> oh. <gasps> wow, guys. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, I thought I wish it would have been more vibrant. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Oh my god, guys, it worked. But I bet you if I really had a piece of like Oh my gosh, guys, look. I don't want you to see. Look at how cool that board looks. Let me put this down. That came out gorgeous. I wish it was darker, but I'm still okay with it for trying it out. So, um, I'm good with this. Oh my gosh, guys. That's beautiful. Ooh, I wish it was some darker. It don't seem like it left any... Yeah, I still see some ink. Not a whole lot, though. Okay, so let's see how the other one came out. Okay, so what I've noticed is your print settings have a lot to do with sublimation. I have some that didn't, you see the bottom is like real dark. So it didn't sublimate all of it, but it did work. And it's not as dark as I wanted it to be. Not dark, but vibrant. But like I said, for me trying it out the first time, I'm still alright with it. So, there goes those. <coughs> so. There you guys go. It got so hot in here, I had to pull my hair back. There you go. White erase whiteboard dry erase whiteboard from home depot is a back a blackboard and a dry erase board and these were not really expensive it was eight dollars for two feet four feet so you could get a couple of images off of those if you cut them down they won't cut them down in home depot they told me they won't cut them because it takes that uh these boards are a chance so whenever you do cut them Right before you cut them with your saw machine, blue tape it down where you're going to cut it at so it don't chip. So, there you go, guys. Both of my images sublimating on whiteboard. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. Definitely thumbs up. Subscribe. It's free. And, um... Until next time, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.